Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn how to handle parent-child hierarchies in tax. Okay, what does it mean by parent-child hierarchy? For example, you have one employee hierarchy and it's very common uh, manager and employee relationship. So that is uh, one kind of a parent-child relationship. Okay, so here I have some example. This is Julie, Krish, uh, under Julie, Robert and Amar, uh, under Ro uh, Robert, Rahim and Harry. Then uh, for Krish, uh, he has also uh, four employees under him. Okay, so uh, what I have done uh, for this uh, case study, I have created uh, two simple tables. Okay, how we can create that? Just I'll show you. Uh, what are the fields I have selected here? So if you just go to the home tab and if you click on this enter data Okay, now here you can provide column 1 column 2 and you can add some records here So in this way I have created two simple tables now I'll show you how the data structure in this table Okay, if I go to the data table and first I have created this parent-child relationship. Initially, there is not so much uh, columns was not there. So initially only these three columns, employee key, employee name and manager key. So this employee Julie, he uh, she is a manager for Robert and Amar. Okay. So in this way, I have created the data set. If you go to my blog, you can find out this sample data set there. Okay. Another is, employee spend so in the employee spend what i have done i have done this employee key too and corresponding to that key i have uh, added this spend amount so whenever you are going to create this employee spend table at that time you will just create this employee key and spend amount okay but how will you get this index you know i'm just going back to home section if you click on this transform data And there is one feature is there, add tab column, you can click on this index column and automatically a sequence will be generated. Okay. So I have used that functionality for this data creation. If you want, you can create this data set in Excel uh, and uh, import as file option. Okay. Now I'm coming back to parent child functions. In DAX, there are five parent and child functions. Okay, uh, so I will go one by one. First, path function. So, what is this path function? This path function returns this type of information. That means it, it will return a text information delimited with one uh, special character. Okay, so I will show you how, uh, what is the function uh, syntax we have. Okay, if I click on this part, full name here you can observe it's a very simple path within the path I have employee key and the manager key so it will define the path between this employee key and the manager key okay and when apps after creating this uh, uh, variable and my uh, just to remember this is a column this is not a measure okay if, if you just go right click on this table and create this new column then paste this formula okay and uh, if I select this uh, uh, column here you can observe this Robert 1 okay Robert is under Julie so the path between Julie and Robert is 1 slash 2 I would not say slash 1 uh, colon this delimiter 2 whereas Rohim Rohim is under Robert that means the distance of this path is 1 dash 2 then delimited 4 ok so in this way relationship has been mentioned and path has been found out ok so this is about the path function now I will go to another function that is path item function first I will show you what is path item? Path item is nothing but like uh, in this specified position, okay, 
what is the value at that position that is is a functionality of this path item function that means whenever i'm using this path item function it will return the value of that position i'll show you an example as you have already observed i have three levels okay three level of hierarchy so i need to find out who is in this level 1 level 2 and level 3 so i have created this is our person level 1 okay it's a very simple function and it's very common. If you go to Microsoft document, you will find out this similar way of uh, method description. Okay. So this is a level one lookup value. It's I'm using this lookup value function and this parent child from the parent child relationship table. I'm getting the employee name within that employee name using employee key. And here I'm using the path item function path item function within that I need to provide this path function that means whenever you are going to use this path item function your path function should be defined before that okay and based on this path function I am trying to find out the level 1 position now you understood so this is for the level 1 so in the level 1 I am getting the record Julie and Chris okay now I need to find out the level 2 if I show you, this is a simple only replacing this one position with a two. You will get the level two. Similar way, if you click on level three, it's a th uh, third position of that hierarchy. So if you have more hierarchy levels like four or five, you just need to mention four and five and you will get all the information. Each and every level, what is the value, we can get it. Okay, so I've created this simple table view using all those functions. So person level one, level two. Now you can observe here I have this blank rows. Okay, so whenever we are creating any reports, this blank rows will not provide a good information. Then how will I solve this problem? There is another way to solve this problem. Just uh, one thing. Because in for this level 2, for this row Julie, what is the level 2 and level 3? Definitely for Julie is, uh, for this level 2 is Julie and level 3 is also Julie. So our problem is this row should be copied this value, repeat this value at level 2 and level 3. Okay, then how will I do that? I will show you another report. For that, I have created another two functions. I would say another two columns. Okay, so my person level one doesn't have any problem. I'm getting all the data. Problem in the level two and level three. So what I've done? I've just created this level two. Okay. Here you can observe this lookup value is same. Okay. Only I have done this if function. Within that if function, I am using path length function. Path length is nothing but giving the length of this full path. Okay. So this path length, checking the full path length, if it is greater than equal to 2, then it will provide this value. Otherwise, it will repeat that person, whatever value is mentioned in the level 1, that will be copied. It's a simple if statement. In the similar way, I have also created this level 3, only replacing this 3 value. So, when I am selecting this uh, 2 field in this report, I am getting this repeated value, Julie and Julie. Here, Robert and Robert, Amar, Amar. Here is Rahim and Harry is already there. So, all those value has been repeated. Okay. Now, I'll show you one separate report for path length also. As already I've seen that how we can use a path length. So this is a simple path length syntax. Okay. And you can observe I'm getting the record for Julie 1, Krish 1, Robert 2, whereas if you observe Rahim 3, Harry 3. So in this way I'm getting the path length. Okay. Now we understood 3. Uh, functions for parent child. Let me move to another function. This is 
path content. So what does it mean by path content? Sometimes we have some requirement like uh, whether that employee is really present in that hierarchy or not. Okay, how will you check that? It's a simple path contents, this full path and four. What is this four? Four is nothing but this employee ID. Okay, so don't confuse because it's showing the apostrophe within the quotation. So initially I was also confused like whether I should provide the name or key. What, what should I need to provide here? Then I realized, okay, it's not name. It's the key, only the key value. Okay, so you need to provide this for, for example, if you want to find out five, then you just need to mention five. Okay, and this is a Boolean return, true or false. So you can observe. Rahim, so in this row, uh, this four value is coming. So that's why it's true and others are false. Okay. Now the last function that is path reverse. Path reverse is just try to find out who is the boss, like even who is the manager and who is manager's manager. Such kind of scenario can be, uh, we can find out in our reporting requirement. So how will I solve this problem? For that, I have created, we need to use this path item reverse function where simply I, we are going to use this path value and this three. Three means the third position. That means in the right side from the reverse order, who is in the third position. And if I use that function, you can observe only for Rahim and Harry, I'm getting this one value, okay? Because for others, there, there are no third position. So that's why other records are blank, okay? So in this way, we have completed five parent-child functions. Now there is uh, another uh, requirement we can uh, get that whether that uh, uh, node value or whether that value is in leaf or not. Leaf means you know that. How will, it, how will you create it that way? So that person is leave or not, for that you need to, for this uh, situation, you can create this type of calculated field, okay? Or you can say it's a calculated column. Where is our current employee key? This is our current employee key and manager at parent level. It's uh, already self-explanatory variable name. And where I'm going to use this calculate function within that count rows of this table, all from this table and where the manager key is equal to our current employee key. And the variable is when the manager at parent level equal to zero, then return the result. Okay, so that means in this way, I can find out this Julie is leave or not, definitely is false. Robert is leave or not, definitely is false. And for Chris also false, but Amar, it's leaf, we know it's a true. And Rahim, it's true. Harry, it's true. Okay. Because under Robert, we have Rahim and Harry. So that's why it is false, but these two values are true. Similar way, Ara, Blena, and Sam, those are also true. Now we have covered this function. Now I'll show you one complete report. For example, this is one kind of a sample report you can create. This is a matrix visual, okay? Where uh, in the row section, I've selected this level one, level two, and level three, because these are the our employee hierarchy, you can uh, say. And from the employee spend table, I have selected this spend amount. Now we can observe Chris 4,145, because under Chris, we have all those uh, data, okay? And for, and it will combine all the data and summing up to our, uh, the first level one, okay? Now I'll show you for Robert, you can observe 1490 and under Robert, for Robert itself, it has 450, Rahim 640 and Harry 400. So if I combine those values, I'll get 1490. And uh, if I, and all those values are, if we summing up, so for Julie, I'm getting the total spend. So in this way, you can create uh, some hierarchical report and definitely it will uh, provide some value to your customer. Okay. So I hope you learn 
this parent child functions and you understand how you can use in your project wherever you are getting such kind of a data scenario so i hope you like this uh, video thanks for watching